Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Loki, and I'm back with some good old Regalia Lost. Because today, they've added, they've finally revealed the three. No, they didn't really reveal. Um, then we have the info for Hawk, Lin Yu, which was the mysterious third person, and So Fang, So Fang, So Fang, So Fang, for Mana Spirals. So I'm just going to be going over them, talking about them, um, giving some of my current thoughts about them, and some that I may have heard from Lerp as well. Um, so... If you're here for that, leave a like if you end up liking it. Comment if you have some... Tell me how you feel about these units, because obviously... Some of these are kind of weirdly worded. Not weirdly worded, they're weird until we see them in action. So first things first, let's get into it. And of course, su subscribe to me if you want more of this kind of stuff. Um, so first of all, this comes out March 11th. So basically in... Next reset. Yeah, next reset. Let's go for Hawk. Uh, these are the changes, by the way, that he'll have. Savage Hawk deals wind damage to the enemies in a line. Poison or stunned foes take extra damage. This damage increases will the damage increase will stack. Activates shocking arrows. No shackling arrows. For the next two force strikes, the user will shoot special arrows that deal extra damage and inflict stun and poison. The second time this skill is used, it will instead deal wind damage to enemies in a line, dealing extra damage to poison foes. This skill will then alternate between these two effects with every use. Wait. So, second time the skill is used, it will instead deal wind damage to enemies in a line, dealing extra damage to poison foes. Okay. Hmm. Uh, co op ability co is uh, skill haste 15%. Abilities poison and stun edge 50%. Increase the chance of inflicting poison and stun by 50%. Opponent freeze resistance 100%. Reduces. <clears throat> Reduces susceptibility to freeze by 100% when the user is hit with an attack. One moment, because I just remembered this is not on Do Not Disturb. Alright, sorry, let's get back into it. Reduces the susceptibility to freeze by 100% when the user is hit with an attack that would have inflicted freeze on them. Their strength is increased by 15% for 10 seconds after activation. Poison and Stun Punisher 1 increases damage poison enemies by 30% and stunned enemies by 40%. Okay. So yeah, Hawk got a very similar buff to, I believe, Nefaria. That is her name. No, Nef. I forget how to pronounce her name. Uh, it's definitely N-E-F, though. That's the shorthand, which is the one I usually see her uh, under. Let me see. Let me see if I can find her mana spiral right here. Her info right down here. Uh, a little bit more? Yeah, here it is. Okay. We can find it right here. Yeah, it is Nefaria. Uh, yeah, her Twilight Air, the difference is that her four strike doesn't switch to something that deals damage. So he's slightly the same, but also they're slightly similar. Also, she doesn't, he, I don't think he needs full HP for his, but I think his is also a lower for that exact reason. So yeah, it's 50%, she's 60%, but you need to be 100% HP. At the game's release, Hawk and Nefaria were basically the same unit, and they were both basically fighting for last place in terms of the worst unit in the entire game. So it's good to see Hawk uh, like finally get buffed. The one thing I'm not 100% sure on is how how will this buff affect... So the main thing right now is that there's no Agito Uprising that requires wind. So the only super hard content is uh, HMC, and uh, I don't see how he fits into it. It's very hard for me to imagine how most bows. I think he would take the... Again, this is all theory, because I'm not 100% certain on it, so don't take it as gospel. I think he would take the role of um, the one who baits people, because he doesn't... As long as you have Bright Ellie, all, you don't have to worry about healing, but he wouldn't be super close up, so I don't... Hmm. Weird. I think this is a pretty good buff from what I see, especially since Nefaria is this freaking crazy, but I wonder if they're also, Hawk will be in a similar situation where when it's the next Agito, that's where you'll actually see him shine. Just because, like, the way HMC is structured, I don't see many units besides three DPSs and one baiter kind of doing anything. And if he's in the bait role, then he's not really doing all that much damage, I think. I mean, he's doing decent damage because, uh... Yeah, the beta usually does pretty good damage as well. Anyway, let's move on. Pretty good buff, from what I can tell. Especially if it's like Nefaria, because Nefaria has one of the greatest mana spiral buffs in general. Lin Yu. Typhoon Fist deals wind damage to the enemies directly ahead and inflicts sleep. The user's next three four strikes are powered up and create cyclones. 
uh, Heaven's Breath restores the user's HP and activates Heaven's Breath for 15 seconds. During Heaven's Breath, the user's attack rate is increased by 20% and Typhoon Fist skill is powered up. Uh, kind of crazy. Very crazy. Let me finish doing this. Uh, Co-op ability is defense 15%. Ability is Kung Fu Mastery increases critical rate by 10% when HP is 70% or above. Also increases the user's critical rate by further 20% when the combo count is 25 or higher. An additional 20% when the combo count is 50 or higher. Reduces susceptibility to bog by 100%. And when hit by bog, uh, she gets a uh, strength increase by 15, uh, for 15 seconds. By 15% for 10 seconds. Excuse me, man, that was a jump over words. And skill haste and combo, ti uh, combo time increases skill gauge fill rate by 8% and extends the window between hitting an enemy and the combo counter resetting by 2 seconds. Okay, so she definitely needs the combo time because so the Lin Yu buff, I so badly want to say that this is nuts and this is going to be fantastic because just like in general, everything she's built on sounds crazy. But the idea of trying to, so Axe is one of the slowest, you like, units in the game in general like they don't have very high combo count at all and a lot of them actually lose their combo the second they skill as well so the idea is is that if you use a skill there's a very good chance that you'll just end up like losing the combo count like we'll see how much the the basic idea is that i think ba i use axe mainly for hmc i think she would be perfect in it because i think you can already beat it with her pretty easily the thing is is that nobody wants a Lin Yu. people want um for the most part a victor i believe it's two bright ellies and then noel i think is their name it starts with an n i can't remember it right now but that's usually the team comp for hmc and because there's no agito uprising that's the main thing that you're kind of building a win unit for, is to beat that very hard event. Because for the most part, events in the game in general aren't the hardest in the world. For every, for like the average event, she's going to be great and really fun to use, which is something. Because she sounds super fun to use. There's no doubt in my mind, the fun ability of this unit is at 100%. The viability is something that we need to see in action. We need to see how much the combo count um, being increased is enough, because... A uh, force strike on a axe unit is super slow. It's actually possible to lose the combo if you're not in the tightest of windows. I've definitely done it myself. It's not easy to keep your combo going. Um, I kind of, yeah, it's a it's a tough balancing act. And obviously the cyclones are also there to help keep the combo going. But you know, remains to be seen. I think that this one has the potential to be the best one of the bunch. But we need to actually see it in action before we know for sure, is the basic idea. And finally, let's go to Su Fang, who is the free-to-play character who, for the upcoming event. Gale Slice deals wind damage to the enemy directly ahead and poison foes take extra damage. Crack Crackling uh, Pyro Blossom increases user strength by 30% for 15 seconds. While the skill is active, Gale Slice will inflict stun also. This user's next force strike will inflict poison. Hmm. Uh, crit rate, crit rate up by 10%. Therion Bane, <laughs> increased damage to Therions by 35%. Cool, I guess. Bog resistance, if he's hit by Bog, gets increased strength for by 15% for 10 seconds. And won't activate again for 15 seconds. Skill damage, 35%. Attack skill damage by 35%. Um... Huh? Seems kind of good. What it? Why are you? Are you a dagger? Yeah, dagger's another basically kind of dead <laughs> thing. A lot of these units are like, here's the running theme of the thing I'm going to say. We need to kind of see a Guido because the way HMC is like, maybe I'll do a video. I don't think I've ever done a video on it. I, I want to do, I am going to do one. So look forward to that later. But the way H HMC is kind of structured, it's very hard for <laughs> dagger units in general because dagger units are constantly flying all over the place and you need to be in very set places at very set times and also not destroy bubbles in the beginning phase of it and stuff. Like, there's so much stuff that you have to take account of that it's actually very hard. It's a very restrictive fight. It's maybe one of the most restrictive fights in, um, at least in the early-ish High Dragon Trials. That's actually not 100% true. I think it's restrictive in, I think, the units you can use. Because, um, for example, I think High Jupiter is much harder um, than Mercury, but there's more units you can use. So that's kind of what I'm saying in here is that I feel like the fight structure in itself kind of makes it limited, but I don't know. Either way, I think a pretty interesting buff. We'll see how it gets tested. Uh, I wish there was an Agito Uprising for Wind, 
um, which would be water, to fight water, but we're just gonna have to wait and see if that's next in the cards. It seems likely, because they're getting the early buffs. It's either wind or it's either, wind or water is next, I feel, because they've already done, let's see, shadow and fire. Yeah. Mm, gonna be very interesting, very interesting. But yeah, that's, that's it for now. There's really nothing. There's also, I think, everyone should know at this point, maintenance is for 316. I don't, that's a long ways away. I think this rerun's gonna be really short, and then from then on, let's see. Events and promos, I think it's in here. Let's go back to the, this month in Dragalia, because I'm almost positive that we're already out of this stuff once the this month uh, in Dragalia is kind of out. Let's see, February. Maybe I have to go here and go to the latest news. Go down to March, February. This month in Dragalia lost. So yeah, we already have that, already have this. We just got confirmed that. Yeah, next thing has to be an interlude. And then after that, it's the 1.5 year anniversary. So I think expect a Dragalia Digest or news of a, like the announcement of a Dragalia Digest around the 16th. Um, because that will actually show us what the hell we're doing for the rest of this month. Because it is such a short month, in retrospect, after like going through everything. We're basically almost done with what they're going to tell us what we're doing in this month. So, sit tight. Tell me how you feel about these Mana Spirals, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. And of course, if you ended up liking this video, leave a like. Uh, you can subscribe to me. I do a whole bunch of other video stuff. That's about it. So, until next time, everyone. Goodbye.